for any new open source technology to gain momentum there needs to be many factors put into play and they should be evolved along with time as a robotics enthusiast and a hobbyist i always tend to learn any new tech toys i could afford to play with even though ross is open source and have virtual robot simulators like gazebo and avis ross is mostly on the software side and building an actual robot using ross is pretty expensive as it needs at least a raspberry pi at its core so today i'm going to introduce to you a new type of robot that was designed with the aim of making ross based robots as much cheap and basic as possible hi i'm pavish and let me introduce to you the guinea bot The robot operating system or ROS is an open source robotics framework that has been around for almost 10 years now. And marking its revolution legacy, I made a simple basics explained video on ROS where I mention it like this. As a flexible framework or middleware for writing robot software and as a collection of modular software tools and libraries that helps in creating complex and robust robot behavior. Well, I was also confused at first when I heard about ROS. It took me a few days of playing with the tutorial files and some virtual robots to get an overall grasp of it. From which I made that introductory video on ROS. If you are hearing about ROS for the first time, I suggest you take a look at that video and come back. As a hobbyist, my basic approach to learning any new tech is through building something with it. As a part of it, I always tend to use a simple and cost-effective hardware to do it. Which is why Arduino was a major part of my robotics journey, but ROS stepped up the game. To make a simple ROS robot, you need at least a Raspberry Pi 3 at its core, which costs around 3,000 rupees. And almost all the ROS robots use advanced sensors like LiDAR, Kinect, etc., which costs twice more than the Raspberry Pi itself. Adding cost of motors with encoders, the cost of building a simple ROS robot goes above and beyond 10k. I make robots one third of that cost. Hence the idea of Kinibot. Guinibot stands for Guidance and Navigation Expandable Robot. Guinibot was conceptualized around the idea of learning ROS by making simple control and navigation robots like line followers, obstacle avoiders, maze solvers, etc., which use simple sensors and control logics that are easy to understand for any beginner. The Guinibot uses Node MCU as its core and utilizes the ROS serial library and its package for establishing its ROS communication network. The Node MCU is often accompanied with an Arduino Uno R3 as its peripheral controller as they have more digital I/O pins than a Node MCU. By using Node MCU as its core and Arduino Uno as its peripheral along with some simple sensors, the whole robot costs way less than a Raspberry Pi 3 itself. Thus, the Guinibot is the cheapest ROS-based robot that exists physically. Before we begin to build a Guinibot as a beginner to ROS, let's set up our PC with the required software. All the well established versions of ROS need a Linux machine preferably with an Ubuntu OS. If you have a Windows PC like me, you can just create a virtual Linux machine using Oracle VM. I prefer having Ubuntu Focal OS. You need a good internet connection through a Wi-Fi router. If you are using a virtual machine, make sure to enable its network adapter to bridge as this will assign a dedicated LAN IP for a virtual machine and we do need it for this project. Go ahead and follow the instructions given in the description to update your Debian package and then install ROS Noetic Desktop full version. Download and install the Arduino IDE. Next, follow the instructions in the blog on how to install the Node MC board and its libraries to Arduino IDE. Also, you need to install the Guinibot library from the Arduino Library Manager along with its dependent libraries which will be prompted to you while installation. To download the ROS workspace for Guinibot, copy the git clone command from the blog, open a new terminal in your Linux machine, paste the command and run it. After the cloning is complete, navigate to the Guinibot workspace using this command. Type catkin make and run it. It will take a minute to set up the workspace and then the software setup is complete. At the time of this video release, the Guinibot workspace and its Arduino libraries contain the codes only for the first version of the Guinibot. The codes for the future versions will be updated to the same Git repository and Arduino library later. 
which will be instructor on how to be updated in their own dedicated videos. Hope you found this video interesting and useful. Consider liking this video, subscribe to this channel and make sure to click the bell icon to stay tuned for the upcoming versions of Guinea Port. See you again next time with the first version of Guinea Port. This is Pavish signing off. Thanks for watching.